My name is Charlotte. I'm from France. I've arrived in Texas like four months ago and I'm at A&M for the semester. I'm attending uh, Mays Business School in the, the graduate program. My school is um, Lyon in France, but I'm originally from Paris. I wanted to go back to the US because I've done uh, my internship in uh, Asia and I wanted to move to back to the other part of the world and I didn't want to stay in Europe. And so in the US we had a few choices and mostly in Texas or in Florida and A&M was the best ranking so that's why I chose it basically. <laughs> People here I wonder how much of a culture shock it is and I think, at least for me, probably partly because I've already been in the US, like never in Texas, but I've lived in Colorado for two months and I've also lived close to New York for two other months. Like my parents sent me there basically to learn English or stuff like that. So it wasn't that much of a culture shock. I think maybe most Americans don't realize how exposed we are to their culture in a way because we study their politics, we study, we follow their kind of uh, what's happening in the country, uh, all the news in a way. We study their history, we have all the movies, all the songs, all the music, all the books in a way. So there are differences in I guess, yeah, the way people behave, like the way that, uh, especially in Texas, people are really nice. They come, they talk to you, they start kind of making small talks. It's very, like, unusual. <laughs> I major in uh, finance. So here at Mays, I've taken uh, mostly finance and management classes. I'll say the biggest difference is the amount of work. <laughs> like here, the classes, are more structured where you have uh, different uh, assignments and papers to give like every week that will be worth 10 or 20 percent of your grade. Whereas in France you have like one final exam that's 100 percent, maybe sometimes a presentation for some points. But so I'll say it's less structured like in France if I don't want to go to class ever and just show up on the final exam I can. So. I have more freedom to organize how I work, but the good thing here is that I definitely work more, so in the end, maybe I'll remember more of what I've done in the end. Yeah, so since I've been here, I've been uh, going to see games. So we've been to basketball, we've been to soccer a lot, um, uh, women and men, and we've been to uh, American football, basically. <laughs> Uh, yeah, one of our a good friends we made is like the goalkeeper in the soccer team uh, here, so we also went to watch him play. And I've been very impressed with all the facilities and the fact that sport is so encouraged like here and promoted because in France it's not, it's usually not part of the school. Like here we're at Cowfield Cal and the stadium is really impressive. <laughs> That's one of the first things I learned when I arrived that it's like one of the six or seven biggest in the world with like a hundred uh, thousand like, seats. So we don't even have one that big in France at all. <laughs> and it's very impressive. The first time I went inside was for Midnight Yell, which is kind of practice of all the songs and stuff for the games. And it was really impressive, especially when they fired the cannon the first time. <laughs> I was really surprised. I mean, it's not that different in the way that we have American food in France, like you can, we have McDonald's, we have Burger Kings. We don't have as many choices, but we have a, we have still some, and we have pizza, we have, we have K, KFC. Like we still have a lot. I guess the difference is the yeah, the number of choices and how often people go. We've had like a lot of when we've been traveling the weekend. Sometimes we just stop in like small restaurants along the way, and we've had like one of the best burger I had was one of those little restaurants like along the roads. But yeah, I still miss French food a lot. I wish I think when I come back, it's gonna I'm gonna buy like all types of bread because they don't know how to make that here. If you're not familiar with America, do research so that you're not like homesick, like kind of know a little of yeah what's going on in the country. Yeah, I guess my advice is try to organize a lot of things to do because there are a lot of things to see just around Texas. You don't even necessarily need to take a plane, plane and go far in the US. There are so many things to do. So not 
like that way you can come back and you feel like you haven't wasted your time at all. It's been... I wasn't really expecting anything about Texas and I really, really liked it. It was like there's so many things to see and things to do. And you won't be lost because people are really nice and helpful and there's like help desk kind of everywhere in, in the US. Ma venue à Texas A&M parce que c'est vraiment génial et je me suis beaucoup amusée pendant ce semestre. Je ne m'attendais pas à ce que le Texas soit aussi intéressant, mais j'ai beaucoup aimé et il y avait beaucoup de choses à voir.